Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. Do you ever find your computer being laggy and running really slowly? Well, that could be due to your hard drive being too full. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Storage Sense and Cleanup to free up space on your hard drive. Let's check it out. To get started, simply come down to your search field and type in storage. Look for storage settings and click here. Okay, so at the top, you're going to see your main hard drive and how much total gigabytes you have. At the left here, you're going to see what percentage of the drive is used. In my case here, it's 170 gigs. Off to the far right, it's going to show you how much free space you have on your hard drive. The reason that this is helpful here is because it can let you know when your hard drive is getting too full. And typically I notice when the hard drive gets to about 75 to 80% full, that's when my computer starts to lag, run slowly, and the performance starts to diminish. And so you really don't want your hard drive getting over 75 to 80% full. So when you're getting at that about three-fourths full, that's when you want to really make sure you start cleaning up your hard drive. All right, below that, you're going to see main categories where the files that you can clean up are located. And we'll come back to this in a minute. But down below under storage management, you're going to see storage sense. You can turn this on and off right here, and then you can click the carrot to see the details and settings. So in here, the first option is to clean up all temporary files. So temporary files are files that you really don't need to keep because they're only used temporarily usually stored in cached folders and other temporary file folders. And so you can check this box to automatically clean up all temporary system and app files on your computer. Below that is your personal content. So you can turn this on again. This turns on your storage sense. And what storage sense will do is it will automatically clean up and delete files on a regular basis. And you can determine how often that happens. So down below here, first thing we see is configure cleanup schedules. So how often do you want to run storage sense? You can click here and you can run it every day, week, month, or you can have it run only when your disk space gets low. I like to keep it here because I'm not too worried about my storage space until my hard drive gets full. Below that, we have delete files in my recycle bin if they've been there or never a day, 14 days, 30 days, or 60 days. So right, when you delete files on your computer, they go to the recycle bin, but they don't permanently get deleted off of your hard drive. So if you'd like that to be automated, you can go ahead and set how often you'd like that recycle bin to be emptied. I like it emptied a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and do 14 days. Underneath that, we have delete files in my downloads folder. If they haven't been opened for more than a day, 14 days, 30 days, 60 days, or never. So when you download files from the internet, when you're browsing on the web, those by default get stored in your downloads folder. And so typically you only temporarily use them, or if you want to keep them, you move them into another folder. So if you'd like those cleaned up, maybe you haven't used those files in over 60 days, you can go ahead and have those removed from your downloads folder. Now for me, I like to manually go through my downloads folder and decide what I want to delete. So I'm going to set this to never. I don't want those to be deleted automatically. And then below that, we have the locally available cloud content. So what this is, this is essentially my OneDrive. So the OneDrive app, will sync files to my local hard drive. The files will be stored in the cloud on OneDrive, but if I open them within my file explorer here, then they're gonna sync down to my desktop. So this is nice to turn on and automatically clean up any of those locally synced files that came from your OneDrive. Now, please be aware that these will not delete your files permanently from your OneDrive. They will only delete the local copy that was synced to your hard drive. And for a quick reference, 
the OneDrive app. This can be found in the system tray here at the bottom right. It's this little cloud icon and you can click here and you can open the folder. And here you will see the files and folders of your OneDrive. And so if I were to open this, it's going to sync down to my desktop. You can see here with the green check marks refer to files that have been synced down to my hard drive. If it just shows a cloud icon, that means they're just on my OneDrive and I haven't synced them down to my local hard drive. So I like to clean that up every 14 days, but you have these options as well. You can also say never. All right, and then finally at the bottom, if you wanna run your storage sense right now immediately, since you change the settings, you can go ahead and run it and it will clean up everything on demand based on your settings. Okay, so let's go back to storage now. Now let's look at these categories. So what's really nice about this window right here is that it will show you where the majority of your files are located that you could potentially clean up. So this first one is other people, which means this refers to other accounts that log onto this computer. The next one is installed apps. So these are apps that I've installed on this computer. And if I wanted to, I could click on the carrot and manually uninstall those apps to free up space. Here is my OneDrive files. Again, this refers to the OneDrive files that get synced down to your local hard drive. You could click the carrot here to manually uh, delete those off of your local hard drive. And then here we have the documents folder and then finally temporary files. So as an example, you can click into these so if I go in here to temporary files, I'm going to see all the various temporary file folders that I could potentially clean up. And so you can go down here and selectively decide what you would like to clean up. So maybe I don't want to clean up my downloads folder, but I'm good with deleting the rest of these. I can go ahead and select all of those. And then back at the top, I can click remove files and continue. And boom, shakalaka, it instantly cleaned up all of that data and I have now freed up some space. All right, back to storage. You also have cleanup recommendations and this is kind of cool. Let's go take a look at this. So again, it's gonna show you and recommend folders for you to go ahead and clear, but also look at this, it's gonna show you your large or unused files. Now right now I don't have any recommendations, but this could show you where those really large files are located and you could just go through those and delete the large files that you know you no longer need to keep. Here's the file synced to the cloud. And again, this, this would be my OneDrive files. And so I could go ahead and free up all the space that it's taking on my local hard drive. Here it shows I can free up 1.09 megabytes of space. And then finally is unused apps. So this is would recommend any applications that you haven't used in a long time, and you could just look at those and decide if you want to uninstall them. So this is a really nice feature in Windows 11 where you can go through and quickly free up space, clean up files that you no longer need to use and free up that storage. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. It doesn't cost you anything to do this, and it will help me keep my channel going. Also, if you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.